Here's a look at the math homework for this week. Uh, this is ways to add. We're going to group a number into a 10 and ones, and then we'll add. So, so far we've kind of learned many ways to add. You know how to add by counting on. Um, you know how to add by making a picture, using a number bond. Uh, and then last week we were talking about how to make 10. So here's another strategy that you can use uh, when you have a number that is greater than 10. So we will group the number into a 10 in ones. So I'll show you how that's done. When you look at the first problem here, it says 17 plus two. In the picture, um, I can tell that there are 17 flowers here and two flowers over here. Instead of counting every single flower, I'm going to make things easy by grouping a 10. So I look at the flowers and I can see one, two, three, four, five at the top and one, two, three, four, five at the bottom. So I know that five and five is 10. I'm gonna put those together. All right, took a while to get my top off my marker. So let's see, there's five and five. So I'm gonna group my 10. Label that with 10. And I'm breaking apart that 17. So there's 10, and then let me see how many more I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I remember correctly, I know that 10 and seven make up 17. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in to the number bond here. There's one group of 10, and then there's a set of seven left over. Now, what I want to do next is put my my leftovers or my ones together because that's not quite enough to make 10. I know there's seven here and two here. When I put seven and two together, I can count on seven, eight, nine. There's just going to be nine here. Okay. So again, over to my number bond, I put two and seven together and that's gonna give me nine. So since 10 is so easy to count with, I know that 10 and nine is 19 without even counting on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my 19. Um, so if 10 and nine is 19, then 17 plus two is equal to 19. And I can prove that by using an old strategy of counting on. So 17, 18, 19. Was I correct? Yes. So this was just a quick look at how we can group a number into tens and ones to help us with adding. Parents, if you're looking at this video, you're going to probably think, well, why not just count on 17, 18, 19? Much faster. In this case, that is true. Um, but we are setting students up to use a strategy that will help them when the numbers become greater and the counting on won't be as easy. So for now, while we're still learning and practicing the strategy, the numbers are not going to be the most challenging numbers uh, because we want to get a good grip on how to do the work. So that's how to add by grouping a number into tens and ones. You'll see this on your homework this week, um, as well as, let's see, some problems where there's just a bare number to add. Remember, you can still group into tens and ones to solve these problems. And if you want to use extra paper, you know, to make the picture or to draw the number bond to help, that's also fine. I hope this helps.